Hello all, welcome to part 32 of APA testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to run multiple API requests simultaneously, that is at the same time, and also how to perform performance testing using Postman tool. So let's get started. So using the Postman tool, Okay, using the Postman tool, we can run multiple requests simultaneously. Let me first show you how to run multiple requests at the same time using the Postman tool first, followed by how to perform performance testing using Postman tool. Okay, so how to run multiple requests simultaneously using the Postman tool. Let's say here we are, uh, I just launched the Postman tool as you can see. And here we have a workspace, under the workspace we have a collection, which is nothing but a project in real world. Under this users API project or collection, we have uh, categorized this uh, list of uh, API requests under different folders, okay? So I'll go to this user's API, guys, okay? I'll go to this user's API. Under this one of the folder, I will go get request folder, okay? Get request folder, and there are two APIs here. There are multiple APIs here, right? Get request is one of the uh, folder, and under that, there are two APIs here, list users and single user. You can have any number of APIs, that's okay. Select this folder. Okay, just select this and select this folder. When you select this folder, guys, you are getting a run option here. As you can see here, you're getting a run option. Just click on this. The moment you click on that, you'll get all the list of API requests uh, which are under this uh, folder of this collection. So you can uncheck and check whatever that you want to run. Okay, I want to run multiple API requests. This is one API request, this is another API request. Multiple API requests I want to run simultaneously, guys. Okay, so simply click on run users API. Both the API requests will be running simultaneously and you got the results, okay? 200, okay, in 137 milliseconds. This one 148 milliseconds and this much of size has been transferred by the server to the client uh, and uh, uh, two APIs got passed, okay? So we didn't get any errors or something, okay? Failures are not there, okay? Fine, that's great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll just close all this stuff. Again, I'll select this get request folder, okay? So this is how, guys, uh, this is how we can run multiple requests simultaneously using the postman tool just select the folder and click on the run and select that list of apis that you want to run simultaneously okay that part is done i showed you how to do that okay collection run run multiple requests at a time okay you can select the collection also uh, are you getting any run option i think this is the run, run collection option click on the run collection all the apis under this uh, collection will come now okay not only under the folder guys but also you can select the collection and click on the run option uh, and then you can select or unselect any of this and uh, just say run users API. All, all the, you see all the APIs got, okay? 201 created success only, two, 200 OK is also success, 200 OK is also success. Three APIs got run simultaneously, okay? We can run the APIs under a collection simultaneously. That part I have done. Now, change iterations to do little bit of performance testing. It's not about uh, detailed performance testing, guys, okay? Don't think uh, using the Postman tool, you can perform extensive level of performance testing. But in small projects, okay, if small requirements are there where you have to do a little bit of performance testing is required, okay? Not complex performance testing, but a little bit of performance testing to see whether the APIs are uh, performance-wise, they are good or not at a high level, okay? Little bit of performance testing in small projects. If you want to do, then you can change the settings, guys. Select the collection again. Again, click on the run option. And uh, here we got the list of APIs that are going to run simultaneously. Now here only one iteration is there. I will change that to 10 iterations. That means each and every API request will go, will run 10 times. Okay, each and every API request. That means three API requests are there, three into 10, 30, 30 API request calls will be made now. Okay, and uh, yeah, just click on run users API. Let's see what will happen. 30 API requests should happen, you see? 30 API requests. Total, uh, total 10 here, okay. 10 iterations, right, first iteration. Second iteration, third iteration, fourth iteration, like that 30 API requests have been run, okay? 10 iteration, one, iteration one, two, iteration 10, all the same APIs are run simultaneously, okay? So this is how we can do a little bit of performance testing in, uh, okay? Little bit of performance testing in Postman. And uh, here there is one more option here. So uh, before, uh, like, like after every API request, you don't want to, uh, you know, right, uh, run the another API request immediately. Rather, you want to take uh, two seconds of, uh, two, 2,000 milliseconds, guys, okay? That means two seconds gap you want to give for every API request to run, 
okay one after another one in 10 iterations that do it will take some time guys okay it will take one minute of time as you can see here first api request after that is done after two seconds second api request after two seconds third api request like that it will keep on going till 10 iterations okay it will keep on going till 10 iterations so this is how guys this is how uh, we can perform performance testing using postman tool that is a little bit of performance testing don't think that is an extensive performance testing for extensive performance testing uh, using apis we have very other good tools like jmeter okay like that such kind of tools are there okay load runner jmeter and all those stuff okay but uh, using postman also you can perform a little bit of performance testing the way i showed you in this example okay six iterations are done four more iterations are left for every two seconds with a gap this uh, api requests are being made so it will go until 10 iterations okay it will go until 10 iterations so these are be a few features of the postman tool guys okay there are other features of the postman tool i'll be covering one by one okay a lot of features i'm going to cover guys uh, one by one when the time comes when the situation comes few things few few features of postman you will learn as part of automation few features you will learn as part of the test cases or whatever it is okay so some some features you don't have to explicitly learn uh, when you are actually uh, doing manual testing of api testing or automation of api testing those features will come into picture okay in the coming sessions you don't have to expect me to create a separate topic for each and every feature of the postman that will be very vast okay let's learn them naturally so all the important features of the postman tool i covered you see starting from here what is api and all till here guys lot of things i covered a lot of postman features i covered and lot of api testing concepts i covered a lot of things we have understood by this time okay so we'll go to the next levels the upcoming sessions and let's uh, have a final look 10 iterations have been completed guys as as per the settings done okay let me close all this stuff okay let me close all this stuff so hope guys you understood how to run multiple api requests simultaneously either under a folder or a collection okay and also how to do a little bit of performance using postman tool in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another api testing concept for you till then see you bye bye